Homestake gold mine was one of the largest and richest gold mines ever found. And to be the only one is, is really an oddity. And so it was always perplexing, not just for us, but for, you know, for a lot of economic geologists who, who studied or, or were familiar with the Black Hills. I had no background in the Black Hills, but I knew there was a story out there. And I brought a bunch of students out and we started looking at the rocks. And then we read what was published and the students were bringing me observations as well as I was making observations that didn't match the story. Then every year for the next 20 years, I would bring more students out and we'd look at a different place. I met Dr. Allard in my first ever geology course, and he was definitely my big inspiration for getting into the study and then eventually the career path I ended up down. So for years, Brian and I would go out and map the rocks with the students and with Dr. Allard. Little did we know kind of where it was going to lead down the road and eventually put us into F3 Gold. Prior to my work out in the Black Hills, the paradigm was that the F3 folds that were recognized were described as just locally apparent and really not a big part of the overall tectonics. These rocks are super important because it's those tectonic environments where minerals are accumulated in the past and where we go looking for them today. What we recognized very early on was this F3, not really important, don't pay attention to it, deformation was actually the dominant deformation and is controlling what the map pattern looks like, which I then named the Dakota Tectonic Zone, DTZ, the entire Black Hills is this structure, and therefore, voila, we've got F3. We could approach looking for gold out there with a completely different concept than others before us. And really, once we started to look, you know, we started to find gold, and it was really kind of blew us away at first. Of wow, are we onto something bigger here? That's when we got out, put our boots on the ground, and started systematically taking a mineral systems approach, mapping, sampling. And, and really honing in on what is controlling gold endowment throughout the hills. And sure enough, we started to see an abundance of gold directly associated with this, these DTZ shears and pretty extensively throughout the entire Black Hills. And we basically developed a strategy to acquire any properties we could that met the orogenic low gold criteria and shear zone hosted gold criteria. And that's where F3 Gold was born. F3 Gold is new eyes on old rocks. 